This is the story, The Faces of Easter, number six, by Godly Play and Church Publishing. We're still in the purple season of Lent. And we remember how in the beginning, the baby was born. And when he looked into the face of the mother Mary, he could already see the cross. And when he looked into the face of the father Joseph, the cross was there too. Mary and Joseph took care of baby Jesus. They held him close and kept him warm and gave him everything he needed. And the baby began to grow. The boy, or the baby grew into a boy. And when he was about 12 years old, they went to Jerusalem to celebrate one of the high holy days. And you might remember that when they were on their way back, Mary and Joseph couldn't find Jesus. And so they went back to look for him, searching in all the places where they had been. And after three days, they finally found him in the temple, learning from the priests and the people who knew the law. And they were learning from him too, because he knew so much. And they asked him why he had done this. Jesus said, didn't you know that I needed to be in my father's house? <laughs> well, Mary and Joseph were confused because his father's house was back in Nazareth where they lived near Joseph's carpenter shop. They didn't understand, but they did not forget. The boy grew and became a man. And when he was about 30 years old, he went across the river Jordan where his cousin John was baptizing people and telling them to repent and believe the good news. Jesus also went to John to be baptized. And when John saw Jesus, it was as if he saw him for the first time. When Jesus asked him to baptize him, John said, no, you are the Messiah, the one who is to come. You must baptize me. But Jesus said, no, it must be done this way so that the scripture can be fulfilled. When Jesus was baptized, he went down into the chaos and darkness of the water. And when he came back up, people said that they saw a dove coming down on Jesus and a voice that said, this is my son in whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Jesus left the river and went out into the wilderness and the desert to learn more about who he was and what his work would be. He was there for 40 days and 40 nights where there was little to eat or drink. And one day Jesus heard a voice and it said, if you really are the son of God, turn these stones into bread. But Jesus said, no, to be a real human, you need more than bread to eat. Then the voice took Jesus so that he could be on top of the highest temple in Jerusalem. He looked down and he said, if you really are the son of God, throw yourself down from here. For in the scriptures, it says that God will send angels to save you before you even hit your foot on a stone. But Jesus said, no, we do not need to test God. Then Jesus could see all of the kingdoms of the whole world. And the voice said, if you follow me, I will make you the king over all of these kingdoms. But Jesus said, no, I am to be a king, but not that kind of a king. And then the voice went away. Then Jesus went back across the desert to begin his work. But what was Jesus' work? His work was to come close to people, especially people who other people didn't want to come close to. Look at Jesus here. He is coming so close to this man that he's touching his eyes. When Jesus came close to people, they could see things that they had never seen before. They could do things that they had never done before. They were made well. Jesus also told parables. 
stories about the kingdom of God, but he knew that he had to become a parable. So he went to Jerusalem for the last time. Jesus entered Jerusalem, and before he came, he told his disciples to go and find him a donkey to ride in on. People thought that Jesus was going to be a king, and they were right, but he wasn't going to be the kind of king that they expected. He wasn't coming in on a white horse. He came in on a donkey, and it wasn't even his own. <laughs> but when he did come in, they greeted him like a king anyway. They tore down palm branches from the trees and waved them and cried, Hosanna, which means save us. And they laid their cloaks on the ground for the donkey to walk along. And on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, Jesus taught in the temple. And then at night, he would go to the Mount of Olives to pray. Some people thought, the Messiah would go to the Mount of Olives to gather an army of angels so that they could fight the Roman soldiers, but they weren't paying attention to the kind of king Jesus would be. One day when Jesus was teaching in the temple, he said, look, do you see that old woman? Listen, she's going to give an offering. She put a coin in the offering and he said, did you hear anything? And they said, no. Then a rich man came with lots of money to give. He even needed helpers to help carry all of the coins. And when they put the coins in the offering, you could hear ringing and jingling of all of the coins and everyone looked to pay attention. And Jesus said, who do you think gave more? The man with all of the money or the woman who gave all that she had? Some people thought it was the rich man but some people thought it was the woman who gave the small coin. On Thursday, the people decided that they would take Jesus, but Jesus and his disciples got away and they went to the upper room of a small house that they borrowed to have their last supper together. Jesus took bread and he broke it. And he said something like, when you break bread and eat it together like this, I will be there. And then he took a cup of wine and he gave it to everyone. And when they drank it, he said, when you drink wine like this with each other, I will be there. The disciples didn't know what he meant. He was already here. He was always saying strange things like that. They didn't understand what he meant, but they did not forget. Well, suddenly one of the 12, Judas, left the table and the rest of them sang a hymn and then they went back to the Mount of Olives. Jesus prayed for his disciples and even for us. And then suddenly soldiers came and took Jesus, and Judas, the disciple who had left, gave him a kiss to tell them who Jesus was. Then they took Jesus away into the night. Now this is a sad place to end the story, but it doesn't end here, so you have to come back again for the next one. But for now, I wonder if there is anything in this room or in your own house that reminds you of this story. For me, when Jesus came in on Palm Sunday, I think about our little donkey friend here from our holy family. Now, I know this is supposed to be the donkey that Mary rides when she comes with Jesus when he was a little baby, but eh, I think they look similar and it reminds me of that story too. Then I thought about the coins that the woman gave and that the rich man gave, and we have some golden coins here too from our story of Epiphany, when the three kings or the magi, the wise men gives, get, give gifts to Jesus. 
So maybe you can find something in your own house that reminds you of this story too. Maybe you have bread or grape juice or something that you can remember the Lord's Supper. And of course, you can always continue opening your resurrection eggs to learn more about the story of Easter. But as always, only you know what is right for you.